So we'll still have Maria's food voice, but today's late IHP show, we're going to start with a couple of things. I, I had another one for you, but I didn't do it the way I wanted. So we're re-recording. We're re okay, first of all, this uh, that I'm going to read to you comes from a video from The Well. Uh, it's something about, let me go find debunking emotional stuff that basically it's not about you having to debunk your emotional stuff. If you're emotionally mature, you'll know how to stay in the present because your inner adult is leading the way. And that because you learn from the past means your inner child, you have your inner child, your zero one year old, your two year old, your three year old, all that implicit bias stuff. You know how to put it to the side. It's called enlightenment soul age group, the human way. So being a functional adult, being a person who chooses emotional accountability, which leads you to learning to regulate your own emotional stuff. So moving into your steward system is very easy for those who choose the human love narrative. So they don't begin saying, I'm going to save all the animals, all of the, I don't know, anything but the human being, because that's not actually smart if you realize that you're a human. If you're not smart, which is where I want to have compassion for all of those people, because see, it's not about smarts in the way of what they can regurgitate. They, they'll regurgitate with the left mode of their brain, everything and anything. You're truly smart when you have your whole three-year-old heart, so you know your implicit bias. But then you can put it to the side. You can know how to explain if you got reactive. I mean, you can be empowered. Who doesn't want to be empowered? And plus, who's smart is empowered. Who's not is, is not empowered. The reason authoritarians and influencers can manipulate people's emotional stuff is because you have a lot of people who don't have emotional accountability and maturity. Ah, let me go here again to the video. And they believe, therefore, like with cognitive dissonance, they believe their own emotions. Uh, it's not just believing in it, though. They actually use it to assume things of people. And it's two different things. 4D mystics are, are busy with that, with energy vampires, dark auras, magic spells, cleansing yourself, the key to, they use divinity all over the place. The people in the ancient silverback traditional cults, they, they still are using the stories, texts, and we got educators in the 4D plane too, who are using the same ancient text to say, here's the ideal mate, according to what I read in the scripture of yesterday. So as a polyamory person, I know all about the monoamory and mononormative community continuing to use the word sin, hell, purgatory, all stories that the people who are teenagers, because see, teenagers, they live on stories, apparently. I, I wasn't that type of teenager, no. I actually made choices based on emotional immaturity, like anybody else. But I was like, you know what? I'm evaluating all of these emotionally immature people who have low self-esteem like I do, because I'm a kid, they're a kid. We're learning how to be what we think are grown-ups, but obviously we're not grown-ups because we've made the better decisions. I'm going to start making better decisions. I think I gave it I gave it a shot to, to, to be a part of peer groups. Yeah, no, I'm going to choose the people. I'm going to choose them based on how they treat me. Uh, quality of life, it's called. I know my well-being. Moderation, it's called. I was taught it. It's very smart. My body thanks me. My brain thanks me. My mouth thanks me. In fact, I was asked about my teenage years, didn't you have crazy friends? No, I chose the smart people on purpose. It's called healthy self-worth. Thank you, trauma experts. And I don't need to be ashamed of being a smart ass right now because what I'm thinking are all the people that tell me every day how smart they are and how woo-woo pseudoscience I am because I have emotions and thoughts that lead my way. I'm thinking I'm being in the right silence right now as you use your body as if it's going to be here. No, you already know you're not going to be here forever. And yet you don't want me to mention to you that I see you not knowing what quality of life is. So here's the thing. The video from prior is in an attitude that isn't me. Cause when I see people who are actually in misalignment, my heart gets sad for them. And I look at them, and they know what my look is. I have friends like that, and I'm not judging them. I'm not assuming shit about them. In fact, no, I, I 
I have information. I have what's understanding. As a 5D mystic and a person who uses my brain, but what it is is I'm a person and I have a heart. So I'm smart. And if I saw teenagers being emotionally mature, now I see adults. The difference is, wow, I thought you'd grow up. I got the trauma experts explaining that if you didn't have a child-centric environment with healthy self-worth people and somehow figured it out, yeah, you're not fucked forever until you decide you matter to yourself. Apparently, the trauma experts have always made clear that it's hard for people, apparently, to understand what it means. I was like, the one time as a teenager, I spoke shit to myself. I'm like, what are you doing? And you're not your cheerleader and you're not your enemy. What is this? I was like, oh, that's true. What is this? It's stupid. And it was something like, I'm all alone. And I'm like, no, you're not. You got a whole family around you. Enough with it. What is it? And I was like, yeah, you know, those teenagers, what are they doing? They always promise shit and they never come through. Oh, wait, that's right. People who have not securely attached to their own self. So they don't believe in themselves just the way they are. I do. I love my three-year-old self and I love my quirkiness. All of it. That's because I'm magical with my magical wand and my magical powers as a 5D mystic and I didn't have to reclaim anything. That's because how to debunk deceptive emotions. I didn't have to be debunk them. I know my implicit bias, all those things I don't like. I'm a three-year-old. I'm not going to pout. Some people learn to pout and be teenagers. So how to debunk deceptive emotions, you can look it up on Big Think. And this lovely woman who's PhD something in psychology teaching, learn what somebody is feeling instead of assuming. Don't put cultural biases on muscle movements, facial expressions. Don't indicate the same emotions in all cultures. Okay, also, Hippocrates understood that he and his contemporaries called epilepsy the sacred disease because they didn't understand its physical cause. He wrote, when we do, we will no longer think it divine. That little boy, so this is from Cosmos, and the boy had epilepsy. They gave away goat's blood so that they could get rid of the curse way back when. We have 4D mystics and people who still live in the era of how dare they talk about there be no divinity. Okay, so Existential Physics, the book from Sabine, and you should really look into it because it's going to be an awesome read. I haven't looked into it yet, but that one is great for anyone. Existential Physics, I don't know if I pronounced that, for anyone who wants to be a 5D mystic and be common sense, use, you know, again. Um, and then we also have, for the fact there's no devil or demons that take over a person's body, where are you, lovely Patrick McNamara, with his religious self which I have yet to read. That's just two of the beautiful, amazing books, The Cognitive Neuroscience of Religious Experience. Thank you. So, also, Poly Secure for my polyamory community. And here's where Becoming Aware with Daniel Siegel, that would be really great for anybody who wants to learn about the brain, the mind, and relationships in your body and stuff, the power of attachment. Thriving as an empath. I haven't read that one yet, but I will. And let's see, Mind, also of Daniel Siegel, oh, Polyvagal Exercises for Safety and Connection by Dana, and Unspoken Voice, Peter Levine. A lot more. So if you want to learn about being a human being, oh, and how a 5D mystic, basically, thank you, lovely said guru, can understand, perceive, and experience mysticism. Although he says mysticism is not meant to be understood, but to be perceived and experienced. But see, when you're a whole three-year-old heart, you can understand with my left, and I can perceive and experience and be connected to this lovely sphere. And the story that I wanted to share is that 4D mystics read to people that when you get sick, somebody has cursed you, potentially. And when you actually do get sick, people are like, wow, oh no. And they think of all their loved ones, and they're in the idea, as a teenager, that someone's out to get them. And there's conspiracy theories teenagers yelling about their twin flames and a lot more. So in 5D Mystic Enlightenment Functional Adult Land, we don't do any of that. We integrate, that's why I'm woo-woo pseudoscience, but we integrate human spiritual and spirituality elements for a reason. We're whole three-year-old hearts who are serious about the human love narrative and healing trauma. So having for everyone compassion is straightforward, but also direct communication. No emotionally immature people who can't take ownership of it, and so they project. Tune in for more.